مرحبا يا شباب Welcome to part 8 الجزء الثامن and yeah um, as you might already know we started to implement the service class and before we continue I just want to explain what is happening here so basically our repository class because we are implementing from the JPA repository we have already this method access by ID and this just checks um, if there gives a boolean value if an ID exists or not and if we if there's not a uh, task with, uh, with this ID so when this throws uh, false we want to say it's true and that that's why we need that's why we need um, to negate it uh, when it's false we want to negate it to true so we are able to throw this exception um, task not found exception and you will see in a second what why we are going to need this and now let's write our first method which will be also used then later in our controller uh, get task by id so it should be uppercase nice and here as well we need a parameter of type id of type long for an id this should throw a task dto so okay first things first first we are using our helper method check task for id okay um yeah if if this check passes now it comes to the next line of uh, of uh, task creating a task object and because our repository will say will give us this task and uh, yeah and then we return Uh, we return mapping entity to DTO and give it the task as a parameter and that's basically it and yeah okay what is happening here so um, first we, we use our method here check for task ID um, if there is no task with this ID an exception gets thrown and these lines will never be executed then we are using our repository, which gives a, which gives us a task object, and we will use this task object, uh, this task entity, to create a DTO to display to the user um, in our endpoint later on. Okay, I hope you understand what I did here, and now let's say let's move on. Uh, okay, okay, let's move on. Uh, now let's, I would say let's finish all the get requests, all the methods which we which will be used by the get requests. Let's say fun, get all tasks. Okay, this will this should be written all the tasks we have. Doesn't matter, if open or not. And this is of course all the task. Mm. Okay. <laughs> uh, task ETO. Again, we will use single line expressions to say repository find all. And this we need, this will be a stream of data, but we need to map it. So we need to um, a little bit uh, change something here. That's why we're using the mapping. Uh, and here we can use our, uh, our method we created before and this map the mapping this mapping and GTO and let's say uh, collect this list. Mm, 
this. And that's basically it. Okay. Um, as you can see, uh, I will just reiterate here again. We use our repository to find all the tasks we have in our table. This will be a stream and we will need to manipulate it. That's why we use the map here, map uh, method. And we use our uh, internal method mapping entity DTO, which will take the task entity and map it to DTO so we can display it to the user as a list, collect and collect this to the list. Okay, uh, we will do quite some similar things for basically we can again duplicate this command D on Mac and say get all open tasks and here we not here we don't want to use the find all we want to use our query all open tasks and do you remember we wrote here the native SQL query for it and yeah it's the only thing we have to change here now we will get all the open tasks let's move on to the next method and I would say just and duplicate it, get all closed tasks. And again, we just use the query method, query all closed tasks. So, remove this line break. As you can see, we are using this uh, method we wrote in the repository to query all the Close tasks, and yeah, this I would say this looks quite good right now. Okay, okay, okay. And I would say, um, I would say just to to break uh, to stop here the video, and see you in the next one. Yeah, um, Likaya Shabab.